the family of a 19-year-old orphan, Lowell Idris, who was killed last Saturday during the Kaduna State local government area elections, has told Trust TV that they have left his killers in God's hands. A guardian and an uncle to the deceased, Elia Kubu, said this during an interview with Trust TV News at the family residence in Kao Kaduna. Trust TV's Bella Musa has the report. According to the family, the incident happened at Kao Kaduna during the local government election. A day of, uh, on the day of election, when I was somewhere by Kao Road, when we had some sounds of uh, tear gas and shootings. Elia Koop expressed shock at the news of Lowell's death, noting that the boy was not at the polling unit during the chaos that ensued. Some boys came, they ran to come to me, they said, something happened. I said, what happened? They said, Lowell is shot dead. Shot dead in what sense? They said, in his, uh, in his shop. I say, did he follow the guns of the children rallying around? They say no, they was shot inside his shop. He was locked in. Elia Coop, an elder brother to Lowell's father, said he had been caring for Lowell for the past eight years since the boy's father's death. He said efforts to save Lowell's life were futile as he was declared dead at the hospital. Then I went there, I saw what happened. Before I came, they rushed him to the hospital. The hospital, they took him first, they refused, Manal, just behind my house. They refused to take him because of that, because no doctors, I mean, no police report. They took him to another hospital behind, just along, uh, along, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this Ngwandus, I mean, Rafunguza. The moment they were there, before even seeing the doctor, he passed on. He claimed that the security personnel deployed to the area fired tear gas and shot into the air to disperse the crowd, adding that this led to the death of Lowell. Whatever God does, is he knows better than we. I leave everything in the hand of God. According to, but I was not there. Maybe if I was there, maybe I would have been, it would have been double at, at least. So those that witnessed, they say it was group of police because they were about 61 group of police vehicles. Those 61 group of uh, police, they should have gone to Binungwari, Bush, or anywhere. Elia Kup urged the community to be patient and allow the authorities to conduct their investigations, noting that they had reported the incident to the new Barak police station in Kawo on the day of the tragedy before Lowell was buried according to Islamic rights. When contacted, the State Police Command Public Relations Officer ASP Mansur Hassan confirmed that the family had reported the incident to the police. He stated that an investigation had commenced to ascertain what actually happened as other security personnel were present at the scene on that fateful day. Bella Musa. Trust TV News Kaduna.